I met Mike uh, about a year ago when I first started coming here, I guess, and I may have seen him around town, but I didn't realize that he was a songwriter also. And, uh, and a few, he's, he's, he wrote a song called Three Chords and the Truth, and he actually uh, won at the Calgary Folk Fest uh, songwriter contest last year. He was uh, one of the shortlisted people. He went down there to perform his song. And uh, so Mike is awesome. His songs are on. My friend Mike Gunn, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Mike. Thanks very much, Rick. My friend Rick. Rick and Tracy are fantastic guys and super talented. Uh, um, yeah, this is, uh, oh, I, I didn't win, by the way. Uh, that, 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 thanks. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was, I was finalist. Yeah, I didn't win anything, but um, the, uh, the Sh Ship and Anchor uh, pub uh, had lots of swag for everybody. There was a bunch of free beer and uh, was a $25 gift certificate. Uh, yeah, this song's called Three Chords and the Truth, and uh, I came up with that title, um, I guess two winters ago, Skip Ewing, the Uptown Folk Club brought in Skip Ewing, a great uh, songwriter uh, who's a professional Nashville writer now, and a super nice guy. And uh, uh, Steve uh, had a good idea about him putting on a songwriting workshop. And uh, I, I went to that, and uh, uh, it's really inspired. And besides songwriting stuff, he told us about the, the realities of the music business and stuff. He, he's been, I guess, 20 years in Nashville and had uh, 11 number one hits and on and on. Like uh, a lot of people haven't heard of him, uh, Reba, but like Reba McIntyre and Bonnie Wright nearly covered one of his songs. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I was thinking about country songs and writing songs and all that stuff. And uh, Harlan Howard, he's one of the Nashville's most famous writers, but no one, hardly anyone except hardcore country fans know uh, for his writing. Um, but uh, he wasn't the, uh, I liked his singing myself, but uh, apparently the radio wasn't, uh, uh, wasn't, uh, wasn't quite so keen, I guess. But uh, one of his most famous songs was co-written with uh, Hank Cochran. Uh, it was called uh, I Fall to Pieces. And... Uh, but anyway, Hank had uh, 17 songs in the top 40 simultaneously. That's, that record still stands. But uh, uh, a journalist asked him one time, what makes a country song? And he said, three chords and the truth. Okay. How's the tone? A song is a short story, so story rules apply. But music is the medium upon which it relies. If you manage both, you're off to a good start. But don't forget the message is the most important part. Three chords and the truth makes a country song. So said Harlan Howard, I don't think that's wrong. But if you fall to pieces, Will some stranger care if they want to listen? Can you hold them there? It's no one's job to like your song. That's a cold hard fact. It's your job to draw them in and get them to come back. It's easy to ramble on, but don't make that mistake. After all, three minutes is what the radio takes. Three chords and the truth makes country song. So said Harlan Howard, I don't think that's wrong. But if you fall to pieces, will some stranger care? If they want to listen, can you hold them there? Here comes Steve's part. Beautiful finger picking stuff. And here, 
comes Matt like a freight train. There's just one other piece to this Nashville puzzle. If you can't sing and play, you'll have to find another to take your song to their heart and send it out again. Man, if they pull that off, they'll be your best new friend. Three chords and the truth makes a country song. So said Harlan Howard, I don't think that's wrong. But if you fall to pieces, will some stranger care? If they want to listen, can you hold them there? Sorry. Thanks a lot. Mike Gunn, ladies and gentlemen, Mike Gunn. Three chords and the truth. Well, I think that's wrapped it up here for this evening, unless uh, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out. I'd especially like to thank Expressions Cafe for the venue, the good food, the refreshments, the guy there on the uh, soundboard, and uh, all the musicians, of course, who came out to share their music and their hearts. Uh, but, I, the, well, I was saving that for the last, actually. I was saving the MC part for the last. But I would most especially like to thank the MC, <laughs> Mr. Rick Mogg, for coming out. And uh, thank you. Thank you, Rick. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, okay. <laughs> You've got to be crazy to do this. Wait a second. We are crazy. <laughs> All right, folks, thanks very much. Drive safe, and uh, we'll see you again. The next one is in January, is that correct? That's right, third, third Friday. Third Friday in January. Everybody have a Merry Christmas and a great holiday season, and uh, we'll see you the third Friday in January.